Pastor Prince. Word here. The Word of God is a transcription of heavenly realities. God Himself is a heavenly reality. So man wants to be able to see God. Those who are not born again. How can you believe in a God you have not seen? Is that what they say? Because they are regulated by their senses. So they think God is a fact. Like what they see in the physical world. No. God is what? A real person. A heavenly reality. Jesus is a heavenly reality as he's seated now. The church of Jesus is a heavenly reality on the earth realm. That is why the Christian is not a physical being. He's a heavenly being. He's born again. Being born again is not I can now join a church and now my name is written in the book and one day I will go to heaven. No. No. Being born again is an awakening to heavenly realities. That is why, let me, tell, let me tell you this. That is why when a person is not born again, the one who is not born again, or the one who is going according to, regulated by facts, all the knowledge in this world are factual knowledge. They are sensible knowledge. They are knowledge of the senses. All the knowledge in the earth realm, they are knowledge of the senses. They are sensible knowledge. They are factual knowledge. They don't rule the Christian. They don't regulate the Christian. It's so important. Is this important? Yes. Let me give you an example. When someone is not born again, according to facts, as long as he has breath, he's alive. As long as he has breath and he wakes up in the morning, he's alive. Is that true? Yes. That's, that's what they say. So we say, thank God I'm alive. Some people say that, thank God I've seen the morning. Some say, you see, that kind of thing. Thank God I've seen this the, the year 2020 something. Hey, glory. 2020 something has met me. Oh, glory. There are some people that 2020 something did not meet. Why? Because in the mind of man, if a person is breathing, he is alive. In the mind of God, not all those breathing are alive. See, that's a different thing. What is in the mind of God? So the Bible talks about the Holy Ghost guiding us into truth. It says he shall guide you into truth. The Holy Ghost. It says the Holy Ghost knows the things of God. Say it after me. Say the things of God. The Holy Ghost knows the things of God. The Holy Ghost knows the things of God. The professor knows the things of men. The doctor knows the things of men. Did you get what I said? The Holy Ghost knows the things of God. So when the Holy Ghost teaches you the things of God, the Holy Ghost is teaching you truth. Because truth is the things of God. Join Pastor Prince and the Well Changes Nation every Sunday and Wednesday at the Well Changes Arena, Accra. And also follow us on our social media handles. You are blessed.